much in sports women. Now, of the women that do exercise in Britain, 21% are from an Asian background. That's according to Sport England. And anecdotally, Muslim women have the lowest uptake of sport. That's because of family commitments and cultural expectations. Well, one man in Birmingham is trying to change those attitudes by setting up a sports academy for women and girls, and I went along to meet him. Mohammed Zafran, or Zaf as everyone calls him, runs a women's academy in Birmingham empowering Asian women through sport. He estimates he's helped 2,000 girls in total, and this is all voluntary. Zaf also works as a security guard at Southern City College. I looked around and there was a big issue regarding uh, a lot of women, as soon as, especially in the Asian Muslim culture, when they were reaching the age of 15, they weren't allowed to study or participate in any sports and they were mixing uh, family culture with religious values. So I had a lengthy conversation again with the family, with the parents and uh, we set up our own women's academy. Did you have difficult conversations with parents when you wanted the girls to come and play sport? They were saying, oh, it's never been introduced here before and around here, especially some of the deprived areas, that uh, we don't know what's going to happen with them and how independent are they going to get, what's the benefits of sports and there's no use of it, especially with the Asian culture. But again, that's narrow-minded people thinking like that. Many of the girls' female relatives don't play sport, so it's important that they know exercise is vital and that wearing a hijab won't hold them back. It makes me seem different into the family and I'm just to make different and then they can look back and see what I've done. I've played sports for a really long time and I don't think that wearing hijab has anything to do with it. It's what you want to do and this shouldn't, wearing hijab shouldn't affect it all. Many of the girls have even been inspired to go into further education. We had one young woman who did really well, came to the sports area and is now doing sports science uh, as a degree. So, yeah, some really excellent examples. And that wasn't expected over at all? No, well, when you say not expected, we expected it. Um, the young woman wouldn't have expected it. We have a lot of people who come with low esteem, uh, low aspirations. Take a shot. It's not just girls that Zaf has helped. Four years ago, his brother-in-law was attacked and killed by a gang. Zaf decided to go out onto the streets and speak to disaffected young men and women. I just wanted to make a change in the community, so I went, went out middle of the night and started engaging with the, a lot of the youngsters uh, at that time who were involved in crime. Four years after that now, we've got over 8,000 kids who mainly come off the street. Uh, they've gone into education, some into jobs now. A lot of the funding comes out of his own pocket, but Zaf has a daughter of his own and wants her to have the same opportunities as everyone else.